All right, guys, I got a box of nickels today at the bank. This is a sealed box. Uh, we're going to open this up and look for enders real quick, and then we're going to open up those rolls. Uh, I'm going to do them one at a time, live. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, there were no enders in these rolls. There were some that looked older, but uh, no buffalo enders or silver. Let's get into them. All right, first roll. Looking for, oh, there's a dark one. Uh, not silver, though. That dark one ended up being a 1956. Looks like a uh, Denver. All right, come on. We need, whoops, we need a Buffalo. We need silver. Oh, we got a, we got a dime. <laughs> All right, we made money. <laughs> Well, we got a dime. Let's see what year. It's modern. That's pretty awesome. All right, besides that dime, we also got this. I didn't see it at first. That's a 1940. So we're in the 40s. There's an oldie. Right there. That is, looks like 1955. And that is uh, Denver. Ooh, that one looks old. Nope, 64. This one might be old. 1941. We'll take that. 1941 Philadelphia. Ooh, there's a really nice, look at that, 59. Holy cow, that thing is beautiful. It's got beautiful luster. 1959, let's see here. And that is a Philadelphia. It, it has a few steps, but uh, unfortunately they're not all there. All right, we'll keep going. A little Looks like maybe uh, Commonwealth of Bahamas. Yeah, pineapple. And this one looks old. Maybe. Nope, 64. Ooh. Oh, that's going to be old for sure. I'm guessing just by the look of it, I would say 40s. 41. Man, I'm, I can't believe I got that. 1941. That's a Denver. Oh, there we go. 1949. And that is uh, Philadelphia, 1949. I missed one. There was a 1952 in there as well. And that was, looks like a Denver. And that is a 1941, just missed silver. Right there. We got a buffalo. Finally. Oh my gosh. We have been, we're, we're down to what? Uh, just a few rolls left. Finally got a buffalo. Let's get in there guys and see. Let's zoom in. I saw it right there at the top. Oh yeah. Let's see if there's anything else in here too. That almost could have been a silver one right there. Is there any more hiding? Oh, I was so scared we weren't going to get one in this box. All right, here we go. Oh, gosh. I'm excited. I'm shaking now. We got a mint mark. Looks like a Denver. Denver mint mark. Here we go. Three, two, one. We got a date. 
1934, Denver. We got that live. That is awesome. That one looks old right there. 1941. 1941. Let's see. It is a Philadelphia. All right. Anything else? Oh, my God. We got another one. We got two. Within a couple of rolls. Oh my gosh. Let's see what we got. Are you kidding? This one looks great. This one looks great. There's no mint mark. We're definitely going to have a date on this one. That's got beautiful details. It is 1935. Look at that. That is beautiful. Also in that roll, guys, look at this. We had a 1939, 1939, let's flip it over. If it's got a mint mark, that could be a good thing. Let's see. It is a Philadelphia, and it doesn't look like there's any doubling. You always want to check for doubling on the 39s. All right, guys, that is the end of the box. We had a couple more finds, uh, but they weren't very substantial. Uh, there's all of our common stuff right here. And here, I know uh, in the video, I must have had my light uh, too close. I didn't realize it was kind of blown out. So that's why I got close-ups of everything for you guys. Because I know you weren't able to see it real well. But there are the uh, Buffalo Nickels. They are beautiful. There's our little Bahamas coin right there with the pineapple. There's our dime. This was an awesome box. It ended with a bang. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. As always, happy hunting.